Welcome back to The Wonderful Life. We're Tim and Deanna. Today, the Norwegian Viva is docked in sunny St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We've decided to stay on board and explore the ship. I'll be getting a much-needed haircut in the salon. We'll meet up with friends and sample many of the Viva's bars. Then we'll dine at Palomar and catch the final show at Sid Norman's Poorhouse. Without further ado, let's go. Good morning from the NCL Viva. We are docked in St. Thomas today. It's our last day, day seven, and uh, we're staying on board. We're starting off with breakfast. In the main dining room. In Hudson's, which was our favorite of the main dining rooms. Yeah. Uh, We've got a few plans for the day on board. We'll see how those go. I know 11 o'clock is my haircut. That should be interesting. Um, And we also have to pick a floor. Um, We might even visit a few bars today. Um, We we might. There's a very high probability that we will be visiting some bars today and we may have some friends join us later too Uh, we are waiting for a table at hudson's we signed in it's a little confusing as it is on most things on the ship they don't tell you which line is for what so you hop in what you assume is the line to to get your table or to put your name on the list and there's another line which looks like it's people waiting um, to be called to their tables right. we've already checked in and then they get to the front and they go no it's, it's the opposite um, yeah. but no there are no signs and they don't really no, tell and you they that. don't communicate they what they I, you know what they just this hasn't happened a ton on this trip but we do occasionally run into the well the main dining room more than anything else commodore was a little yeah. confusing too the theater this is did the, the first same thing yeah. with you know just a simple sign would clear yeah. things up and there'd be a lot less frustration um we see it around us not just us we're you know we're used to confusion and a little frustration yeah. but the newer cruisers um it doesn't leave a good taste in their mouth yeah, about it, the whole experience it's fine but i know that like up in the buffet they have multiple people welcoming you and sending you know showing you what where to go what to do here it's just like one extra person would be perfect to say no this is the line you have to get in in order oh, to sign in and here's the line for the pretty you know, lean the, staff apparently and then yeah. a lot of the staff is out along the um here directing people so that leaves things a little thinner here but yeah the breakfasts are usually chaos on any ship but that we found that especially here uh, we do have a little buzzer um, to direct us we are in the sushi bar I think yeah like right now we're just kind of out of the way out. they direct you to the the, the, the bar the bar actually. was at Belvedere or, or is it Penrose I don't know no, I, that's I lost the metropolitan metropolitan here. there's just too many we'll see them later today um, <laughs> and maybe I'll remember it by then it's only the you know the second from the last day we've been on here um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a relaxed breakfast if we ever get in there. Uh, the, the restaurant closes in about a half hour, half and they hour. said 20 to 30 minutes. So we, we said an early farewell to Albert, our uh, room steward, I guess you call that. Yes. Um, it's been very nice. It, it's a little different uh, between NCL and Celebrity Celebrity. They, they make up the room. You go back and, and and mess it up a little bit and it's clean again the next time you yeah. come back maybe two or three times a day they come and tidy things up it's a once and done um no real turn well, down i guess but I, they just recently changed that yeah, so they, last year in 2023 um they originally had room steward with with room steward assistants mm-hmm. Right, so there was like a lead one, and then you would have. So they had multiple people. Well, they cut all of those second people. So now they only do one makeup of the room and cleaning every day, and then they come in and they like give you your freestyle for the next day. So he looks exhausted every time yeah. we see him, and and it, we return from some exotic destination and an amazing day, yeah. and he's still uh, up going about his routine, which seems kind of a drudgy thing um, I hope they make enough money to make it worthwhile we, we gave him a big tip today 
just to thank him for all that he did and um, and hopefully we'll bump into him in the airport in San yeah, Juan that, that would, would be, be great um, seeing him outside of that that beige uniform that he has to wear here <laughs> all right we will see you at practice yep bye just want to report that Deanna started eating her breakfast before taking the customary photograph so I just want to call her out for that I on the other hand uh, oh wait wait I, I guess I cut mine up as well never mind All right. once again we are in line for Starbucks it's a busy morning at Starbucks for the first time the entire cruise Zoom in on our little mug that we purchased day one. Okay, hey everyone. So um, we are delivering magnets. We had some magnets made up for the ship as a commemorative um, gift, I guess, so to speak. So it has a picture of the Viva, the date of the cruise on it, and. Um, not a bunch of people took us up on it so we put it in the Facebook group um, anyway so getting back to what I was saying we um, we put it in the Facebook group and a bunch of people said hey I want one I want one so we're playing Santa Claus today and we are delivering some magnets oh it's right here yay we found it Success. We found it, we found it. Okay, cool. Six the last time. So do you want me to have a six at the same time? Yeah, six on okay. top. Six at the top and here four and then the length of three to two yeah. and a half. That sounds good. Okay. So the haircut is only fifteen dollars and the top of a twenty percent service charge automatically, okay? Alright. The seconds. Let's do your haircut. Are you excited? <laughs> so it's going to get really short. Yeah. What I mean, I can do is just cut it short and then you know, it's coming down. Just cut all the gray ones off and leave the dark ones. <laughs> <laughs> you, would be, you would be bald. <laughs> you have a pretty color. I love his color. You know, this is, I have someone that gets after me. Can you do like this? I said, no, that is a really natural color. Natural color, you couldn't do that. So you're a vlogger also? We are. Yeah, I will follow your... Thank you. Do you mind if we show a little piece of this? No problem. Okay, cool. <laughs> No problem. I have a lot of um, guests with their bloggers. They post them and say, oh, I made a How long have you been on the Viva? And, and actually, this is when we opened the ship. I was here already. Mm -hmm. However, I've been a lot of companies before. I mean, a lot of ships before. I was in Prima. So I know the real this area because this ship is similar with Prima. Right. Oh. You're working too? Yeah. He works on um, some television shows that are filmed in Chicago. Really? Mm -hmm. What's this television show is that? Um, well, it's called Chicago Fire. Mm -hmm. It's about firefighters, that sort of thing. Real heroic guys like myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> You would think he was a real firefighter by the way he <laughs> talks. Look at this. How is it? It looks good. It's better, right? Yeah, much better. So there's not like an imaginary firefighter discount? Like a, a firefighter discount? <laughs> I don't think so, hon. <laughs> <laughs> but for the crew member, do you just give like 20% off this one? So yeah, I'm not going to start working on the ship together. <laughs> <laughs> the scalp massage is good or no? Oh, sure. You like it? 
a scalp massage, okay. You need to say to your wife that you yeah, a scalp ever, massage. I don't want to get massages. So <laughs> <laughs> what you get for 32 years? <laughs> In every relationship, there's a giver and then there's a receiver. Okay. She's a receiver. Oh my god. Supposedly. <laughs> He's such a liar. So nice, Jim. That's pretty. Good view. So the uh, Mandira Spa and Salon also does massages and facials and manicures and pedicures. We did not. We've been on board today. Yeah, we we kind of slept in a little bit. Yeah, well, at least till like eight. eight. Had breakfast. Hey Stop guys, so um, we have decided to do a bar crawl on board today, and we are starting out in the Vibe Beach Club because this is kind of our our little mini haven area, and uh, I ordered my first tropical or a frozen drink of the trip. <laughs> Which is a mudslide. And Tim ordered banana daiquiri. Which is a St. Thomas specialty. Mm. Well, isn't it a mudslide? No, not a mudslide. What do they do? Oh, they do a... Uh, starts with a B. Bushwhackers. Seemed kind of quiet, which was nice. Which is nice. Always have to do at least one C day. This is ours. Beautiful day in St. Thomas. It's windy as usual though. Cheers! Hey guys, we are at bar number two which is the local bar and grill. This is also a food, complimentary food um, restaurant, but we're on the bar side. It's kind of the sports bar that's on uh, the ship. Um, Tim got a signature Mai Tai, and I got the Botanical Spritz, which is Kettle One Vodka, Pomegranate Juice, Fresh Lemon, basil syrup and soda water so i figure light refreshing i get to stick with my vodka which is in the mudslide and not mix my alcohols so and we are in swings yes we are in swings the bar has a bunch of swings and little tiny stools and mm -hmm. it's, it's cute service was a little slow starting out but i think we're good we ordered some appetizers too so we have some food in our stomach for lunch so we make sure we do a little swinging on every tree, and this this is about the extent of it right I don't here. know, but we don't have any pineapples on our door or anything, so I don't know what you're talking we about. We did see lots of those. We here. did see some today as we were delivering our magnets. So there are definitely swingers on board. Anyway, cheers. Bar number two. It didn't sound like glass. Is it plastic mm -hmm. or glass? It's plastic. Yeah. It's good. It's a little more basil than I expected, to be honest. Okay. But it's good. Right, so exactly what you would expect from a Mai Tai. Yeah, it's in a no it's in a smaller glass than I expected, honestly. But anyway. Stick with it. Um, this is drink number two. Uh, yes. We're gonna get a little food before we get drink number three. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Bye. We are currently at, well, we're at bar number three, and we have our wonderful friends, Adam and Elizabeth, that have joined us for the rest of the day. Um, so we are- I heard she a hostess. I know. Mm -hmm. we, we're, Johnny, we're, tell her what she wanted. <laughs> we're at the Luna Bar, which is in the uh, back of the ship, inside the Indulge 
restaurant, which we didn't know existed until last night when we walked through. <laughs> Nothing like waiting to the last uh, the last day of the cruise, right? So if you're in the Indulge restaurant and you order a drink, I think this is the source of that. Probably. Probably. So if you like to just sit and drink and watch people eat, <laughs> that's your it, thing. It's also on the opposite side of the Soler, 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 Soler bar, which is Soler. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's attached on yeah. the other side of the wall. So the, the view from here is the view from the other one is much better than the view. Yeah, from we're here. going there next. Yeah. So this bar has a lot of stuff on tap. I chose okay, it here cool. because that seems nine, to be the thing to do. I don't know what everyone else got. Um, some red bubbles thing, which is a vodka base. What did you get, Adam? Uh, I have the banana rumble. The banana rumble, which is the same as what Tim got, right? That's correct. All right. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. To bar three. And to new friends. I'm not sure why the banana rumble has pineapple in it, but... Ooh. It's all fruit. Yeah, yeah, I don't I think the banana would start to look brown by the time they serve yeah. the third or fourth. <laughs> so it's bar three for them, bar four for us, and we are on the back side of the Luna Bar at the, I'm not saying that word. Salil. 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 Bar. bar. And it's the exact same menu, so we're just duplicating our drinks. No, actually, I switched my um, I had the beer the last time, which was a sustainable beer that's only Norwegian, which is very good. And now I'm doing sustainable spritz, which is rosemary infused organic vodka, apérol, surplus champagne syrup, soda water, and orange. Adam has the same thing. In a glass that's actually it's not glass. You can squeeze it. Yes, I, I see that. Same thing in the red bubbles. Plastic powder because they're not that important. Uh, the banana, the banana rumble. And Elizabeth. And Elizabeth has the beer the that I've had before, that, no, that but she doesn't look very like she likes it very. All right. That wasn't the same. <laughs> Okay. You don't, you don't, uh, don't listen you know, to Deanna's recommendation. With, with the drink packages, you don't have to drink. That is true. All of it. That is true. Yeah. Unless you're doing a bar crawl, and mind. then it's like... The problem with wasting is that there's children in the world that know alcohol, <laughs> yeah. and you really need their alcohol. It's going to waste. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I left it, it would not be sustainable at that point. That is true. You are correct. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. On that note, yeah. on that note, <laughs> on underage drinking, let's yeah. have Come on, <laughs> I mean, so, uh, you know, we grew up um, in southeastern Michigan, and uh, hopping, across, hopping across the border, the drinking age in the U.S. is 21, and Canada's only 19. So on your 19th birthday, everybody goes over to Windsor. We spent, we spent many... Uh, so, uh, so there were many a year when, when Tim and I were youngsters. Um, Wisconsin had a drinking age of 18. Your, your parents had to be present. And no, right? not no? when we were that age. Okay. And Illinois was 21. So. But then when Lincoln got to... assassinated, everything changed. <laughs> yeah, it kind of fucked things up, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> CFR 5. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are at bar 5 and 4. And. Um, this is the whiskey bar on on the ship, so we all have a variety of old fashions, except for Elizabeth. Um, I did Woodford, Tim and Adam did Whistle Pig. Mm -hmm. So anyway, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Real glasses instead yes. of those little safety cups. We've upgraded. Do you have any big ones by chance? Yeah, we better get the big ones. They were pretty high grade. Well, that it was the so out much better with Woodford and than with a pig. Just my opinion. Yeah. I like rye. Thank you so much. I don't. One is okay. Sorry. The more expensive, the better it tastes. I think. Not necessarily. So this is a specialty concept bar. Um, they have they have specialty uh, drinks here. Yeah. I don't know Mostly whiskey. Yeah. Apparently, you can get champagne and orange juice too. Thank you. Um, and, and the, the money maker over there. There we go. 
The so, ratings sank during that time when they couldn't see that. Yeah, lovely exactly. Face. Um, but they do have a cute little book here that explains what the different whiskeys and bourbons There's are. The history, how yeah. whiskey is made. It's mm-hmm. it's very serious stuff. It is very serious, and they must have other stuff too because somebody just got a tequila sunrise. So, um, but no. So here we are drinking whiskey and bourbon. Not a good thing for Tim, but anyway. So bar so number bar five number and five four. and four. Five for us. Four for Adam and Elizabeth. We'll see at bar six. Hey guys, we are at bar number six for us. Five for Adam and Elizabeth. Um, we are in the observation lounge. Tim will have to like turn the camera around and show you our view right now. We have taken off from St. Thomas and are heading back to San Juan. Boohoo. Last day, um, Elizabeth and I both have espresso martinis. Tim perfect, went perfect, boring with a Michelob Ultra and Adam has a sidecar. Awesome. So cheers one more time. Probably last one for now. We'll have to catch up with our bar crawl later because we need to go eat dinner. But Bye. cheers. Hey guys, so um, unfortunately we had to cut our bar crawl short. There are several other bars on this ship that we were unable to go to because they didn't open till like 4 o'clock and then we had 6 o'clock dinner reservations at the fish restaurant called Palomar. So that's where we are right now. So we can kind of cross this bar off the list maybe indirectly. Uh, we did order some wine at the table but there is a bar connected to the um, to this restaurant. Uh, we ordered a pretty good wine. What was it called, Tim? Um, hang on, I have a, I have a picture of it. Hold on. It's a French white wine. So far, we've had an appetizer. We each had the grilled octopus. Unbelievable. It was very, very good. Um, it came with some fingerling potatoes and some green pest. I don't know if it was a pesto sauce, pea sauce. I, I mean, I don't know, but it was well presented. Um, and then I also had a uh, romaine citrus salad. We were waiting for our main entrees. Um, I got a scallop with kind of a pistachio sauce and what did, I don't know what you ordered, Dover sole or something like that, right? On previous videos, um, when we were in Cyprus on the celebrity ship, I, I compared our um, octopus to s- when Santorini, which is a, a pretty high standard, but this was right there I with. Think, I mean, Santorini was probably still. Well, you, you need well right, atmosphere. Yeah. We're on a cruise ship, so as far as uh, flavor consistency, maybe not atmosphere. Um, yeah, that it, it's as as good as it you would expect on a cruise ship. It was it was perfect texture, perfect flavor. Uh, presented kind of nicely. The potato thing worked for me. Um, yeah, A plus for me. Hey guys, so um, we just got our dinner, our entrees, and um, they, oh my god, it just looks amazing. So my scallops look like they come with bacon and some clams um, and capers and carrots. And I, for sides, I ordered um, roasted carrots with a ricotta or huricota cheese and uh, uh, mashed potatoes, basically. But it's like a pureed mashed potatoes. Um, I ordered the Dover sole which looks I mean I've always seen it on the menu I just didn't feel fancy enough to order it but it yeah it looks nice it has capers on it it um, carrots come with it and I ordered the uh, grilled asparagus so Deanna is allergic to asparagus so we don't want her to finish the cruise by turning red and and itchy um, the service is like on top of everything. The bartender is uh, the same bartender we have up in the Vive Lounge. So that's Jasmine, a uh, really nice lady. We've gotten to know her over the time we've been here. It'll be sad to leave. Um, yeah, there are a certain number of people on the ship that travel based on who the bartenders are in the Vibe Lounge. And uh, there's three bartenders there that are just impeccable. Uh, we'll miss them all when we leave tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so far our dinner is 
tremendous. Hey guys, so let's see, we are wrapping out dinner at Palomar, a specialty dining. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, yeah, no complaints yeah. across the board. The wine was great, the uh, service was excellent. excellent. Yeah, don't listen to her. Um, don't listen to the camera woman. Uh, listen to the, the talents here behind the mic. No, it was very good. Um, uh, water was brought to us as soon as we needed it. <laughs> Aquapana, we're getting fancy. We get the bottled water delivered to the table with the premium plus package, which is cool. Um, yeah, we, we're perfectly in sync now as we finish this cruise. Um, we have Sid Norman's ahead of us tonight. We're going to try and uh, get in that line before it gets too late and we're waiting too long. Um, this is our last uh, hurrah, so we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. everyone um oh my gosh uh what a day so quick wrap up we did a bar crawl we stayed on shore we did not get off at st thomas because we were just tired it's been a very poor intensive cruise and we had a ton of very uh strenuous excursions and I don't know, it, we just decided that it would be best to have a sea day. So we met up with a bunch of friends periodically, like, um, which you've already seen, and then had a very nice dinner at Palomar, and then wound up at Sid Norman's for their last show, which was incredible. Oh my God, these guys and girls were so good. Um, we were able to get some pictures with everyone and connect on social media with a few so that's kind of cool um, and then we did wind up with one more bar which were added on to the bar crawl kind of I think we wound up with what seven bars total um, 
If you count SIDS, we're eight. I didn't have a drink at SIDS. I had water. Oh, I, I did. Um, All right. So eight for you and seven for me. Um, um, yeah, this last day, um, like I said, we did the celebrity cruise and, and we made a few friends along the way. But being back on Norwegian, that last day on Norwegian is very bittersweet. To, yeah. you, the, the, the farewells there are much more... Uh, oh, my God. I, I mean, we were kind of crying. Today. Yeah, it was, it's tough uh, because we have a, a pretty good relationship after seven days, seeing them almost every, every day, day yeah. every night. Um, yeah, it's like uh, graduation day or something. <laughs> it, it, yeah, everybody's had it off. And the last to their, uh, show was intense. Like... Mm-hmm. Everyone was on I don't know. 100%, like 150%. Yeah, as you see where we have these t-shirts we bought, or I bought online because I know how much Deanna enjoyed the first, me? the Normans. It's not um, just me. It grew on me. So in the Trust beginning, me. I did it out of love. Uh-huh. I bought these. And the first cruise we wore these on, um, we just happened to have the producer of all of the Sid Norman yeah. shows on, on the entire NCL fleet behind us. And it was like, where did you get those? Um, yeah, we get kind of singled out right off the bat if we wear these. The, f- the first day on this ship, it was like, wait a minute. I just assume by now. This a is bunch our, of people would have them. This is our third cruise. Which is crazy. And they're inexpensive, and it, it also benefits the cast right. to, to buy these. So um, the, tonight, um, one of the lead singers, Stephen kind of said hey you guys get up and 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 show everybody the, the shirts yeah. it was it's like okay you guys noticed um that yeah we are kind of um huge supporters of the arts and um and yeah we really appreciate yeah. um the the work they put in to produce these shows definitely um we have you know this would be a, a final a wrap-up video um we were going to disembark and head over to the same hotel that we stayed at in San Juan um, for the day until our plane uh, had to, to leave. So um, Deanna, We have a late flight tomorrow, like close to 5 p.m. So, uh, But Deanna put a monkey wrench into that. We've got one more excursion tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> we had, Not that we haven't been str- had a strenuous trip. She's going to put some hiking and some... <laughs> Wow, like the problem is. So we, here's the deal. We had originally planned on doing that when we were in Barbados, and then it got changed when the country of Barbados offered us a, a different type of excursion. So we wound up snorkeling there, and we were snorkeling everywhere, and we were on the beach, and we were in the water, and it was amazing. We had a, a great trip, mm-hmm. but I still wanted to see the rainforest. So, uh-huh. and there was an excursion in San Juan to go see the rainforest and then bring us to the airport. So that's what we're doing. Plus, we met another friend who actually lives in Chicago that's doing it, and we're on the same plane. So uh-huh. we'll, we'll just all stick together. So it's not um, over until a monkey poops on one of us, <laughs> is what I'm thinking. Uh, we could just completely nuts sail off into the sunset. But we do have one other video uh, based on our yeah, final definitely. day. Yeah, um, definitely. <laughs> it, the weather's supposed to be great. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like in the rainforest. We'll let you know. <laughs> um, but we just as part of the recap, um, yesterday we did uh, book another cruise next, and, and uh, Deanna will explain the difference uh, and why it, 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 there's a benefit to this. We're not, it, you know, paid by and We're NCL Norwegian junkies. in any way. No, it's just um, <laughs> a lot of our friends back home say, "Well, how do you guys afford all of this?" Yeah, um, this is a, a, a big benefit that we get um, that we use um, and to get discounts on cruises. I, I'm sure a lot of people are already aware of this, but they've changed the program to make it even more worthwhile. So every um, Norwegian cruise that we've taken since we originally started in 2022, we've had a $500 credit on every uh, cruise that we've booked. And that's because um, NCL does something different than a lot of the other cruise lines. You don't just like go to the the cruise next, whatever it's called, uh, like when we were on Celebrity, Future Cruise or whatever it was. And book a new cruise, and then they give you some room credit or cabin credit along the way. 
Um, this is actually, you put money down, like in a bank almost, and they double your money. So you can do $250 and they'll give you $500. If you do $500, they'll give you $1,000. If you do $1,000, they'll give you $2,000. They've changed it to where they, you, you used to have to use that within four years and now you can use it anytime. It like never expires. Mm -hmm. um, typically, you can only use $250 at a time. However, if you do book a balcony or a suite or, or any uh, level of heaven above a balcony, you can use $500 if it's at least four months out right now. It used to be six months out, but they've changed it now to four months out, supposedly. Mm -hmm. And we were told by the people at the desk that they're going to be offering more discounts like that or benefits mm -hmm. I guess I should say like that so for us we put a thousand dollars down we're getting two thousand dollars but the catch is they charge your credit card two thousand dollars and then they give you a thousand dollars back the next day so much a lot of people don't understand that part basically but really and truly you're getting $2,000 from them and you're only paying $1,000 because you get that $1,000 back right away uh, or whatever the amount is that they're offering you. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. So each day if you watch um, your um, stateroom television, it'll show your onboard account. Um, it's on the gonna, app too. Yeah, they, they'll charge you every day, f you know, your service charges and, and, and whatever uh, other incidentals along the way. Um, it'll show a charge of the thousand dollars that you put into the cruise next um, and then you'll see that come right back off your account right and give there's a future thousand dollars out there right. so, so we have total so, we have a total of two thousand dollars in credits right mm -hmm. now that we will be able to use whenever we want mm -hmm. and we will use $500 at a time because we usually do a balcony mm -hmm. or we'll take advantage of whatever doubling up or tripling up that they have going mm -hmm. forward. But um, it's for a, us, yeah. it's a it's a nice yeah, deal. Yeah, and, and not having an expiration date, there's no yeah. hurry. Uh, take your time and, and go whenever you need to. But um, it's, a, it's a good promotion. I mean, you know, it's always good to, to keep an eye on, on the rates on the cruises mm -hmm. um but having this in your back pocket um for instance our next cruise um which is going to be um you know a, a, it could have been a very expensive cruise we're going to be cruising in europe they um we already had 500 dollars right there right. from a previous cruise next so mm -hmm. that comes off so all my friends back home are like well how do you do this? Yeah, yeah. Well, what I, I I checked your cruise and it was this much. Well, it, it's not necessarily that much because right. because we had done a future and even, cruise. Credit. Even though we're paying into it, it's just nice that Norwegian offers that doubling of the money. So technically, you know, I mean, two cruises are on them. When you I think mean, about it, it. there's a benefit to them. It's if people don't, you know, end up using their cruise credits but that would be crazy but this is a pretty certain uh thing so th the woman behind the cruise next desk said oh i wish God, it was so easy like this just for the, everyone this is the easiest um cruise next sale she's ever made it and in our case it's not so much a sale it's just we know we're going to be cruising and um this would be like leaving money on the table and uh yeah exactly yeah so um that completes our, our explanation of that, but that was an important part of our cruise. They, mm -hmm. they even left a voicemail on our uh, yeah, statement we phone. We were out of our previous credits. We had already used them for yeah. the next couple, and this cruise and the next they cruise. They were well we're aware them. of that. So and Yeah, they were. <laughs> we had already planned on doing this because, like I said, we, we've done Celebrity. Maybe there's, I mean, there's still other cruise lines we'd like to try. We're so comfortable with Norwegian, and it, it, it's going to be tough to to get me to try another cruise. No, we have right to. <laughs> we have to. We Whether have to. You like we're, it or not. we're not a Norwegian travel blog. We are uh -huh. a travel blog in general, so we have mm -hmm. to try other things. All right, we'll we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll 
put our we have to try MSC. Happiness at try, risk. You, know, you never know. We have to try Princess. All right. I mean, there's lots of things that we can uh, do. Yeah. The only thing <laughs> from what I saw, we were we were kind of shadowing P and O cruises, yeah, and they look very nice. It's European, I assume, but they're very pretty ships. I don't know how they match up to anything we got here. Yep. But we will, well, you find, will out. find out down the road. But we need to pack. We have not packed anything up yet, and we have to be down in our or in the theater at eight fifteen tomorrow morning, and it is now midnight. So, and you will see us tomorrow, perhaps yes. at breakfast time, maybe on the excursion. Um, it depends on how far we get on our pack. Oh, tonight. one last thing. What dessert? What dessert? Dinner dessert. What does that have to do with this? We didn't talk about it at all. Okay, so just we had a really good dessert <laughs> when we were no, in we're Palomar. Go there. And if, if we, and wait, wait, wait. So so if you go back to our previous vlogs when we were on Celebrity, the very first night we ate in a restaurant called Cyprus, and I got a Greek dessert with that started with a G, and I still don't know how to pronounce it. Gala, kala, blah, blah, something, something. Anyway, Tim had said he didn't want it, so he got apple pie. Well, mm -hmm. they had that on the menu tonight. So it was a do-over. They said, you know, <laughs> there, there was an opportunity to try this magic dessert that Deanna had, and I, um, well, get, I gave in, and I, oh, I got it. We both got it this time. I and um, yeah, it was very good. I. I <laughs> it looked prettier actually on this ship. It was. It was. It did. And it, it did. wasn't too big. It was very it reasonable was small size. And and it was a little bit of a different pastry shape, but the taste was identical. So, and it was very good. Yeah, we we'll put a link to that video in the description. Yeah, we will <laughs> to give you uh, some background on that. But yeah, I think I wouldn't change a thing about this cruise. That there's yeah. been everything's been perfect. The, the my food choices. Um, were good. I, my drink the, choices were good. Our friend choices were good. The, the show choices were good. The staff has been amazing. Um, we we met a lot of really nice people, but we we also really enjoyed the staff on this ship as well. Much more personable. Much more open. Um, yeah. And um, we yeah we really do feel that we're friends with a lot of these people mm -hmm. now as a result of our our one week with yeah, them. So. Exactly. So anyway, we are going to wrap it up. We have to go pack and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos come out. Tomorrow we disembark the Viva and explore San Juan's tropical rainforest, then fly home to Chicago. See you then. And remember, keep living the wonderful life.